Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been an unusually chilly week, so today I'm sharing some bright tropical vibes using the brand new Salvage Patina Distress Oxide Ink and some great scene building dyes from Honeybee Stamps. So let's get started. First I die cut the Beach Scene A7 Cover Plate Dye from Strathmore Bristol Smooth Cardstock. I wanted to color my scene with ink blending, so I temporarily adhered the sky to some low tack tape and blended tumbled glass distress oxide ink over the panel. I skipped the clouds and then used peacock feathers and the newest distress color, Salvage Patina for the water. You can see the difference between the two shades, and I feel like Salvage Patina is almost a blend of tumbled glass, peacock feathers, and maybe a tiny bit of cracked pistachio. I think Salvage Patina is hands down my favorite distress color of all time. It's just stunning and the perfect color for tropical waters. Next I blended tea dye onto two of the sand layers and die cut gold glitter cardstock for some sparkly contrast in the third layer. Then I set those pieces aside to dry and die cut the tropical bouquet dyes from Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock. I blended squeezed lemonade, festive berries, and abandoned coral onto the hibiscus parts and faded jeans and chip sapphire onto the foliage. Later, I ended up changing my mind and blended wild honey onto the yellow part of the hibiscus to warm it up a bit. I also die cut a few leaves from gold glitter cardstock. Next I added adhesive to an A2 panel and then adhered the middle peacock feathers layer. I used that as a guide to add the rest of the pieces. Then I trimmed off the excess leaving me with a 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half A2 card front. I adhered the bouquet pieces with liquid adhesive and tape runner and then added the hibiscus with foam mounting tape for a little extra dimension. Then I stamped a sentiment from Thanks a Bunch onto blue cardstock with Versamark and heat embossed it with gold glitter embossing powder. I adhered it with foam mounting tape to finish the card.
And that's it. You can find more information on the products I used in the YouTube description below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. If you do subscribe, make sure you click the bell so you're notified the next time I post. Here are a few more videos you might be interested in, and until next time, have an amazing day and happy crafting. Bye!